So a slightly different question here. Uh, we have Laura who has invested 15500 in a registered education savings plan. She wants the investment to be $50,000 by the time her newborn baby enters university in 18 years. And now I want to know what interest rate compounded annually will result in a future value of $50,000. Okay, So what we know, we do know her principal of $15,500. We know her final value of 50000 We know the time that she has, which is 18 years. We know N were compounded annually, so once per year. And the interest rate is what we're trying to find here. We're still using the same formula. But now we're looking for R instead of looking for A or P. So substituting in, A is 50,000. P is 15,500. R we don't know. N is 1 and the exponent is 1 times 18. So some of the steps change here. Um, as we go through it, I'll explain those as we go. We still have 50,000 equals 15,500. We can still do a little bit of work in the bracket because R divided by 1 is R, and the exponent 1 times 18 is 18. Now in a situation like this, uh, the next step we need to do is divide by the principal, divide by the 15,500. And again, we do need to take every decimal place. On the left, we will get 3.22580. Six four five two, which equals one plus r to the power of eighteen. Now this next step is slightly different than anything we've done in this section so far. It does rely on some knowledge back from grade ten dealing with exponents. We need to essentially cancel off that exponent of 18 before we can do anything else. The way to do that is to put the entire side to an exponent of 1 over 18. Now if we do it to the right side, we have to do it to the left side. And I apologize for being squished like that. Uh, it would work the same way with any exponent. If that was an exponent of 12, we'd put it to an exponent of 1 over 12. If it was 9, 1 over 9 and so on. What that does is it cancels the exponent and if you're using a graphing calculator uh, I'll show you a slight video as I go through this to how to do it. Uh, if you're not make sure that you put brackets around uh, 3.22580645 to the power of we need brackets 1 divide by 18, calculate that out, and we get 1.06722.9162, which now equals 1 plus R. Last step to solve for that, we'll subtract 1 from both sides. And we get that R equals 0 
But as interest rates are always referred to in percents, we'll say that this is 6.72% is what she would need to meet her goal.